Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I know y'all miss one of these sit down talks. How do I manage my time and balance all of my classes as a student? This is the most frequently asked question on my comments and I was like, why not do a video on it and answer it so you guys can kind of understand. For one, I am an A student. I'm not saying that to brag. Please don't take it like that. I'm saying it because I know what works for me and I want to share what works for me so I'm capable of helping others. I am a senior in high school. I've taken so many classes. <laughs> All the classes I took were either honors or college, like not AP, like no like college courses. So I had to learn how to manage all my time so I'm, I was capable of maintaining my grades because I love having A's. My parents aren't forcing me to have A's. They're just like, hey, do what you can and you know seriously try your best and if it falls apart you try i take my grades very seriously and i'm sure many of you do as well and so you're wondering okay how can i manage my time how can i adjust with my environment so i'm capable of getting my work done on time so i can get a's right is that what y'all want a's or B's, A's and B's, you know what I'm saying? Those are good, those look good on your high school transcript if you're in high school, or even if you're in elementary middle school, those still look good and you wanna get good grades. I'm gonna give y'all um, a few tips on what has helped me get through those classes and you know maintain being an A student. Those who are in high school, you wanna maintain a high GPA. You wanna have a good GPA so you can get some good scholarships, you wanna get accepted to colleges. So tip number one, block out your time. I mean, we have 24 hours in a day, you guys, 24 hours, okay? You're just gonna have to sacrifice the time you have. And that sacrifice could be coming from your sleep. That means getting up early and making sure that you have time to get your work done. It could be time during your free time. Typically you use to play your game or go outside or you know, watch a movie or TV show. You know, whatever time you typically block that time out for, use it for your studying or for schoolwork. And I'm not saying this needs to be happening all the time. Like, let's say you have an assignment that's due like tomorrow night. Instead of waiting to the last minute and procrastinating, because I know a lot of y'all procrastinators out there at this point, because I was going to, instead of procrastinating, adjusting your mind, okay, I need to find a, a block of time in these 24 hours where I can get this done. So it could be, like I said, wake up early in the morning and just knock it out. I don't recommend staying up late to do it because that stresses you out and you don't want to be stressed. But going to bed early, getting some good sleep so you can get up early to knock out that assignment, that will help. But like I said, if you come home from school and your typical schedule is come home, you eat your snack and you watch TikTok for about two hours, yeah, maybe that's not the best decision if you got something to do that night, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta ensure that you're blocking out time. Now, if you're online, which I know a lot of viewers who watch our channel are, you have plenty of time. You're not going to school from eight in the morning to two or three or four o'clock in the afternoon. If you're online, you have plenty of time. It's just, you need to learn how to manage your time. And that is something that takes maturity and telling yourself, okay, yes, I have all this time on my hands, but I need to be sure that I'm making sure I'm getting my stuff done, if that makes sense. So I know for K-12, they do something called a learning coach. So typically that's your parent. They're supposed to make sure, hey, you know, you're getting your stuff done, you're getting your work done, which can be difficult because you gotta self-discipline yourself. I know you don't like getting up early and typical K-12 classes don't start until what, eight o'clock in the morning, maybe nine. So you have that a good amount of time. Some of y'all enjoy sleeping in, which is okay. But then, like I said, when you know you need to get something done, it's still good to get up in the morning as if you're still going to school. When I was in K-12, I still got out my bed, I still did my skincare, I still got in the shower and put my clothes on. I still sat at my desk as if I was a student and I was about to go to school. You still wanna have like train your mind as if you're still at school. That is why a lot of people struggled even during the pandemic on logging into Zoom and making sure that they were in class is because when you are at home, your mind is fixated on, oh, I'm home, I'm chilling, I'm relaxing. But you really do need to learn how to separate school and home, especially if you're online, because it can get really difficult getting things done and you know procrastinating because now it's last minute and you've been chilling all day and you just didn't want to do it and now you really have to do it. Yeah, so if you're online, make sure you're setting aside your time, schedule blocking, making your own schedule. I love doing that. That's one thing I would say that I miss about K-12. I enjoyed making my own schedule. Yeah, I had classes, you know, from this time to that time or whatever, but it wasn't all day to where it took out all my time. 
class was typically, I'll say from eight to 10 o'clock sometimes. And I'll be done with class by 11 a.m. When that was done, I used that time for leisure. So whether it was taking a break, getting a nice walk in, there's nothing wrong with breaks, but like I said, make sure you're schedule blocking, like you're making your own schedule. Okay, after my classes, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this assignment. Or after my classes, I'm gonna start on working on this class's assignment. Like you wanna just like make your own schedule out. It helps, trust me helps. My mom taught me this saying, don't eat the whole pie, eat it one slice at a time. So if you have a paper that's due in a week, instead of waiting last minute, make sure you're chunking down. I'm going to start typing one paragraph and then I'm going to do the second one later. I know anxiety can rev up inside of me like, oh my gosh, I got this paper that is due next week. And blah, 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 blah. Like instead of making yourself freak out, just be like, okay. I'm gonna take it one day at a time. Each day I'm gonna do a paragraph, you know what I'm saying? So to avoid procrastination, make sure you adjust and make a schedule to where you're able to make sure you're getting things done slowly, but surely, so that when it's the last minute, technically it's not a whole bunch for you to do. Whether you're online school, home school, or in person, make sure you are not procrastinating because it's just not good either way. The second tip is waking up early, and I mentioned this earlier. Y'all, the most successful people on this earth they wake up early. But what does that tell us? <laughs> we need to get up, even though we don't feel like getting up. You know, it's good to sleep in. When you sleep in, you're sleeping your day away to the point where your day is shorter. But when you get up early, you have a longer day. So you're able to get multiple things done so you don't feel like you're already behind and it's like, oh my gosh, it's 12 o'clock and I feel like I didn't do anything today. So get up early, start your day off. And during that morning, my mom has taught me something of taking care of you in the mornings. So making sure you're meditating, get your mind right. And then after that, read a book for 10 minutes, do some words of affirmation, encourage yourself, lift yourself up. After that, make a vision board and look at your vision board and look at what you want in life and some goals you want to succeed at. And then journal for a little bit. And then after that, exercise, get your exercise in, you know, get your cardio, you know, all that good stuff. But these are just some things you should do when you wake up early in the morning so you can get your mind right. So when you're done, you're kind of like, I am ready to conquer the day. You jump in the shower, that's your reward. You're ready for the day. You're ready to conquer anything. If I say anything, get up early and start your mornings off right, on the right foot. After doing all that, you got your shower in, you can eat your breakfast, and now look, you done took care of you for the morning, so you can start getting productive and working on everything you need to get done. Number three, make time for yourself. If you're not making time for yourself as far as what you love to do, and you're just like someone like me who's like, school, 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 work, 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 I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Don't be that kind of person. Especially if you're going to school all day and you come home and you have more work to do. Listen, unless that assignment is due that night or the night of, please, 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 at least take a couple hours for yourself when you get home. Whether that's rewarding yourself with a shower, a good snack, talking with friends or family, those are good things to kind of de-stress and you know decompress yourself because after all, we are human beings and we're not robots. So I'm even trying to do better on making sure I'm taking care of myself as well as the people around me and giving them attention because we're growing up, y'all. I'm a, I'm a senior, you know what I'm saying? Like we can't just be so indulged in what we're doing in our lives. We gotta kind of let that down, you know what I'm saying? Let that down a little bit and be like, okay, now I'm home. I'm here with my family. I'm here with my friends. For me, my faith is important to me, so I need to give God his time when that's reading the Bible, just talking to him and praying. We gotta make sure we and you know, set aside school for a little while, just for a little bit. I'm not saying drop it, just for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Make time for you, and not just you, but your family, people around you, because they love you and they care about you. Last but not least, number four. It kind of goes to procrastination. When I was online in eighth grade, I had this amazing social studies teacher. I think her name was Ms. Raven, I think. And she was pretty cool. You know, she taught, I, social studies is not my subject. I'm letting you know right now. I'm math and science. All the way and one thing that she said to me that stuck to me since then and even to now with me being a senior in high school she said it's easier to keep up than to catch up and that statement is so true when you start to get behind on assignments on projects on essays on discussion boards or whatever you have to do it's really hard to catch up it's really hard i thank god i haven't put myself in a situation where i had to submit something super late or like i couldn't submit something on time because i procrastinated and literally waited till the last minute but for those who do have that struggle and that issue, just keep that saying in mind. It's easier to keep up than to catch up. Meaning, yeah, you might have to set aside some time, even though it's not due until next week, 
set aside some time like i said eat slices of the pie don't eat the whole pie at last minute slice it up a little bit give a little bit of time each and every day don't be those ones i've heard so many classmates who are like oh we got time we got a whole week no don't stress yourself out i'm telling you i've seen people it looks depressing i don't want to do it <laughs> and i don't want you to do it so when you start fresh this school year please 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 keep up on all your assignments so when you're going through the year you're not stressing yourself out because you keep it up you ain't trying to catch up don't play catch up all right y'all that is the end of this video i hope i said some good things for y'all those are four helpful tips i feel that that will make you an a student i'm telling you if you keep those four tips in mind and you are schedule blocking your life and that you're not procrastinating and that you're taking time for yourself still and you're not completely disregarding yourself and you're keeping up and not catching up trust you're gonna be fine you're gonna, you're gonna have an A. and also ask for help if you ever need help whether it's a tutor or you ask a friend don't wait like i said don't try to catch up don't wait until the, the last unit of the math class and you're like i don't know what we are doing well it would have been helpful if you would have asked you know what i'm saying that's that's the last one that's number five right there ask for help please don't start you know sinking and you're drowning and you're like this and you're already like at the bottom don't do that ask for help when you're like okay my neck is starting to, to go under the line <laughs> like ask for help then don't ask until you're already down there and you're trying to reach up don't look that way okay well that is all my advice i hope i helped you if i did please give this a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos i will be doing in the future and comment down below what kind of content you guys would like to see next but until next time Shania is out. Peace and love.